I think I've fallen into the app hole. There are a lot of apps out there, but today we're going to share with you our three favorite apps when we go RVing in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone, my name's Patrick. I'm Patty. And we're Travels with Delaney, your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. Now this video is part of a collaboration series we've been doing with five of our YouTube RV friends. And at the end of this video, I will put a playlist so you can watch the other five videos and find out what their favorite apps are when they're RVing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with the first app, which is one that we've been using for years and it helps us find everything from campsites to crafts barrels and fuel stops and dump stations and that is all stays yeah we love the all stays app now this app is easy to use you go in you find your location on a map you zoom in and it starts dropping all kinds of little icons to let you know what's in that area and again it will show you everything from national parks state parks county parks cracker barrels commercial campgrounds uh, flying jays I mean the oh, list gosh. just goes on yes. and on and on now you can filter down to what you're looking for but I just love the fact that I can find so many things on all stakes and then as soon as you click on one of the icons it's going to bring up information about that particular uh, location so if it's a cracker barrel it's going to give me their address their phone number there may be reviews and let you know whether that cracker barrel allows overnight parking if it's a campground it'll let you know how many sites and what the maximum size of your rig can be at their campground. I also love the fact that it has things like the phone number where I can just click on it and it will dial on my iPhone if I want to call them and it has built-in mapping so I can click and say put this into Apple Maps, put this into Google Maps, it gives you options and it'll put it, it'll map it. It's just so simple to it's use. It's so swift, easy. Absolutely. And so I honestly don't know how we would go RVing or even travel for that matter without the Allstays app because it just allows us to find everything in one location. The next app that we absolutely love, we've been using it for years both with RVing and non-RV vacations, and that app is, Patty? iExit. I just love this app. Um, I found it a few years ago when we were traveling. It's great. It help, it's very helpful with gas, knowing where your gas stations are located on the exit and which side of the exit, and it tells you how many, like, tenths of a mile or whatever, you go right or left. It tells you the gas price at the time. Um, it also gives you food, tells you what those are, and I even noticed the other day it tells about your pets, like if you need a pet clinic or a pet hospital, um, even urgent care for you. So there's all these cool things um, in it that I'm learning even more about as we use it. So it's a really easy app, and I'm not very techy, so it's perfect. <laughs> The final app we want to talk about, well, really, Patty, it's apps, yeah. because these two work hand in hand together and they deal with weather. Now, the first app is one that I absolutely love called Radar Scope. This was an app that was recommended to me years ago by professional storm chaser and meteorologist Reed Timmer. Now, the reason I like Radar Scope over those free apps that have radar is most of those free ones are delayed up to 20 minutes, which means if there's severe weather in the area, that data is really out of date. So I like Radar Scope because it's usually only two to maybe five minutes behind. The other nice thing is it clearly marks with boxes if you are inside of a warning area, like a severe thunderstorm warning or a flood warning or even a tornado warning. So I don't have to worry about what county I'm in. It just puts a dot where you're at and if there's a big red box around it, we know we are in the actual yep. tornado warning. Now that works really good for us to be able to track what we're gonna be driving into or what's headed to our location. But what about in the middle of the night when we're not sitting around watching radars well patty you found a solution for that it's called storm shield app a good friend of mine suggested it and i think it's it's great we use it at home and when we camp and what you do is you go in and you do your manager location and you can refresh your location and i do that as we're driving to or when we stop at different places just to make sure that my signal is caught up to me because sometimes it'll do it on its own and um, that way i know in that spot and it'll go off if there is a flood warning or the other day there was a high wind warning or anything like that that you need to be aware of. It just have a little siren that it does and it, it'll wake you up in the night and it lets you know what's going on. So it's kind of like our weather radio we have at home except it's on my phone. So it makes it easy peasy. So I love it. It's a great app to use. Those two combined make the perfect weather apps for us 
both at home and when we're traveling. Now, this was a collaboration video with five other of our RV YouTuber friends, and I'm gonna put a playlist right up here so that you can watch their videos next and find out what their favorite apps are. Till next time, everybody, we'll see ya. On down the road. Good night.